the only European territory in the African continent. Did you know that there is a European territory in the African continent? Hello, my viewers. Today I am going to talk about territory belonging to and governed by European laws. In Morocco, they call them the Occupied Septa and Melilla. The rest of the world knows them as the Spanish enclaves of Ceuta and Melilla in North Africa. The tiny Spanish enclaves of Ceuta and Melilla sit on the northern shores of Morocco's Mediterranean coast. Together, they form the only European land territories that border Africa. The territory is located in the northern part of Africa, northmost of the modern country of Morocco just along the Mediterranean Sea, and about 15 kilometers for Spain and Europe. The island's geography. Asuda, Melilla, and other surrounding Canary Islands form a landmass of about 55 kilometers squared. They are essential posts and tourist sites just like Spanish Mediterranean islands such as Ibiza. For instance, Melilla is worth a visit, not only for its architectural heritage, but also for its varied gastronomy, a mixture of flavors and smells inspired by the Mediterranean, European, and African cuisine, as a result of the fusion of the numerous cultures that have coexisted in the city over the years. Christian, Jewish, and Muslim. Similarly, Suda offers a compact dose of fantastic architecture, exciting museums, excellent food, a relaxing maritime park, and bracing nature walks. History of Spain Before understanding how Spain came into possession of the only European territories in Africa, it is important that we first understand the history of Spain. The region was called Hispania during Roman times. The area comprised the Iberian Peninsula, now occupied by Portugal and Spain. It was not until 1479 that the Kingdom of Spain formed, when Isabella and Ferdinand became king and queen and united Aragon and Castile, who occupied different parts of Hispania. The unity was vital since it made it possible for the Christian kingdoms of Castile and Aragon to conquer the Emirate of Granada in 1492, ending nearly 800 years of Muslim rule in the south. After the victory, the regions unified and together became known as modern Spain we know today. Spanish Colonizing Morocco from 1500, Spanish people traded and had good relations with Moroccan people, who were led by Arab dynasties. However, during the period of colonization of the world by European powers, the effective Spanish colonization of Africa was finally established in the first third of the 20th century. North Morocco, Ifni, the Tafari region, Western Sahara, and the territories of early 21 first century Equatorial Guinea comprise what broadly could be defined as Spanish colonial Africa. Theoretically Spain occupied Morocco with more power, and extended its influence, by opening the Mediterranean Sea into the Atlantic Ocean, which was a significant trade route. The occupied territory came to be known as Spanish Peseta. The Spanish Protectorate consisted of a northern strip on the Mediterranean and the Strait of Gibraltar, and a southern part of the Protectorate around Cape Juby, bordering the Spanish Sahara. The Spanish Protectorate in Morocco, was established officially on November. 27, 1912, by a treaty between France and Spain, that converted the Spanish sphere of influence in Morocco into a formal protectorate. The Spanish-controlled territory began to experience tension between Spanish colonial forces and Rif peoples in northern Morocco. This started with a series of guerrilla attacks led by Berber leader Abd al krim on Spanish fortifications in June-July 1921. Within weeks, Spain had lost almost all of its territory in the region. Muhammad V, original name S plus D plus Muhammad Ben Iksif, who was born August 10, 1909, in Fes, Morocco, and was the Sultan of Morocco in the year 1927-57, became a focal point of nationalist aspirations. His efforts and those of other Moroccan leaders helped secure Moroccan independence on March 2, 1956, after the signing of a joint declaration in Paris to replace the Treaty of Fez that had established the Protectorate in 1912. Then he ruled as king from 1957 to 1961. After Spain recognized the independence of Spanish Morocco in 1956, Ceuta and the other plazas de Sobrani remained under Spanish rule. Spain considered them integral parts of the Spanish state, but Morocco has disputed this. Therefore, modern Ceuta, Melilla, Vélez de la Gomer, al Hissimas, and the Chafarinas Islands are Spanish territories. In 1995, the Spanish government approved autonomy statutes for Melilla, replacing the city council with an assembly similar to those of Spain's other autonomous communities. Morocco's claim to Ceuta and Melilla is found to be surprisingly weak. However, its claim to the remaining territories may be supported by the analogous case of São João Baptista de Juda, an unpopulated Portuguese fortress territory in Dahomey, Benin, that was singled out for statutory decolonization by the United Nations. So why does Spain hold on to Ceuta and Melilla? Like all medieval cities, Ceuta and Melilla were surrounded by high, thick stone walls to protect and defend them from invaders and external attacks. Both towns have been long-standing epicenters of the conflict between Mediterranean powers. Therefore, Ceuta and Melilla have been important port cities for centuries, offering protection for Spanish ships and acting as trading posts between Europe and Africa. There you have it. Please share your thoughts on whether you support the Spanish claim of these territories through the comment section.
If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and hit the like and notification button.